I mean, marriage has been described as a lot of things. When we come and when you find that true, special person, the one that you want to spend the rest of your life with. Often it's been referred to as finding your true love, finding your partner, your confidant, your soulmate, your lover, your best friend, and your helpmate. Jarrell, <laughs> I've never met anyone who loves like you do. You are the kindest and most genuine person I know. I love that our relationship is one filled with joy and fun. I love that you always prioritize your family and choose to be there for the ones you love. You are the purest example of Jesus' love for me. <laughs> so I know you will be a perfect example for our future family. My dear Sophie, when I first met you, it was your contagious laughter and joy that caught my attention. And then your beautiful blue eyes and bright smile is what captivated my heart. And to this day, I keep discovering more reasons to love you, and I know that will never stop. From the very start, I knew that I would love you forever. From singing partners to best friends to fiancés, I have loved every step with you, and I know I will love this one the most. We have come so far from where we started, and although we have been through many hills and valleys, my love for you has only continued to grow. I have always felt so blessed to be your future husband and I'm so excited to start this new chapter with you. Ever since the beginning of our relationship, you have always made me feel loved and cherished. You always see the best in me, even when I can't see it in myself. I can't imagine a future without you in it, and I'm thankful that today I get to be your wife. I couldn't imagine a better person to start a life with. So today, in front of everyone we love, I choose you for life. For as much as Jarrell and Sophie have consented together in marriage before God, and all us here together as witnesses, and have pledged their faithfulness to each other by the authority of Esther Mees, the minister of the gospel according to the laws of Queensland, I now pronounce you husband and wife, Terrell, you may kiss your bride. What I'd like to say is that that first moment when I picked this tiny Tiny little baby, totally defenseless, beautiful. I'd been a Christian for a couple of years, but it was at that moment that I realized the love of the Father. Always sunny when we on the set, keep it on running till we out of breath. 
I just really wanted to say from my heart, thank you, Christina and Siona, for bringing up Jarrell. It's such an amazing man of God because he is. You have really blessed me and Tim and Sophie and Beth and Zach with an amazing member of our family. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for that. Because he is amazing and they are amazing. And I know that God's going to bless them and keep blessing them because that's what he does for you. So you're a blessed girl. Got no time for the hecklers. Ain't no sweat, no pressure. Like, God bless you. Had to get the key off the dresser. Back to the strip in a Tesla. High in the sky like Drexler. So I'm just telling you a little bit about him because he, you thought that he spent months, um, what do you call it, um, doing weights and all that. No, he was born with muscles. He was born with muscles because when I took him home, he could already hold his head. I said, there's something really, really strange about this child. He could hold his head. Jarrell, I know Scott's said most of the things that I think about, about you. You're an awesome son, and we love you. And one advice, Sophie's always right. <laughs> no matter what.